<laughs> okay. Actually, I actually don't want to make this one. Okay. Whenever you're ready to go. Hi, my name is Frank Bruni. This is COM 110, and this is my introduction speech. Uh, so when I was trying to pick one item for the speech today, I actually couldn't decide on one, so I picked two. The uh, first item is my Indiana hat. Uh, my little brother Dominic gave this to me. You don't have to excuse my hat here, sorry. Uh, my little brother Dominic gave this to me this past Christmas. Um, this year, he's a freshman in Indiana. And I just want to talk a little bit about Dom first. Um, Dom was born two years after I was. And so for the first five years after that, it was just him and I. So we're really close right now. Um, this isn't the case anymore, but there was once a time in Dom's life where he wasn't the uh, coffee little guy that he is right now. Um, he was actually a little bit chubbier in middle school, kind of, uh, you know, got picked on, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, really low confidence. And so when I was in high school, um, I would actually take him with me to the parties that I was going to, and he would, you know, kind of sit there and hang out with my older friends, and he thought that was really cool, and that's when he started to uh, transition away from that low confidence. Um, today, actually, he is really into fashion, weirdly enough. And, um, he loves watching Gossip Girl. So, you know, he's definitely confident in himself now. Um, but, you know, growing up with Dom, he kind of taught me, like, leadership and how to boost someone's confidence, um, you know, friendship, and just how to, like, go to bat from a boys. Um, the other thing that I have is this bracelet that I wear every day. Um, it says, Got Guts. Does anybody know what that means? No. So, essentially, this is, like, the live strong of a Crohn's disease. Um, my little brother Phil has Crohn's disease, um, which he was not born with, but he was diagnosed two years uh, later. Um, essentially, it's inflammatory bowel disease. He has to take, um, depending on what type of medication, two to three sets of pills every day, um, steroids. Um, he was also born with um, an allergy to peanuts and one kidney. Um, he's actually doing very well, but like, a saying that my father and I kind of have is, you know, poor Phil. Uh, these last couple of years, he's made a transition away from contact sports to uh, tennis and golf, which he loves. Uh, he can kill me in golf. Jeez. But uh, um, he actually has a great attitude about it. You know, we were kind of a basketball family growing up, and he, um, you know, loved it, wanted to play, but knew he couldn't, and he uh, handles that really well. Um, and what he has taught me is just to have a good attitude with everything I do, you know, maybe it gets bad, but it could always be worse, um, as we've seen with him. Um, patience, growing up, uh, you know, we couldn't really fight with Phil like Donna and I fought. He, uh, because of his sickness, whenever he got upset, he could potentially have a flare-up, which is really bad for his health. Um, and then just leadership again, how to, you know, watch out for my little brother. So, obviously the theme of my speech is family. When I come home from college, these are the two kids that I want to hang out with. I don't really, you know, I see my high school friends, but two of my best friends, um, my little brothers. So, thank you.